Yeah, Hereford manager Peter Bede. Like, I take it you're very disappointed with your team's performance today. Not hugely disappointed, just just disappointed. You know, we we had a bad day today. <laughs> Simple as that. There's no no rhyme or reason for it. We've had we've had a bad day today. We haven't been as you know, we haven't been quite at it, but I don't want to take credit away from them either because I thought they were very bright and very sharp and, and they caused a few problems first half especially. Second half, not so much. Um, you know, I thought we caused our own problems second half. Um, but yeah, we just, we've had a bad day, but we've, we've managed to take something from the game. Is it a question of individual errors, do you feel? I just think everybody. I mean, I thought 1 to 11, we were a little bit off it today. You know, I was just said in there then. It, it's, it's unusual that you get everybody or so many people not quite at it today. And... Like I said, you can't. You can ask the players in there; they won't. They won't be able to give you a reason for it, and it's hard to. It's hard to do it. So you know, a little bit of disruption with the change of the back four and stuff like that. But you know, but Joel came in and he's played all season, and so you know, so it was the same, almost the same as last week. So, but for whatever reason, it just never, it just never got going. What did you make of the two penalty awards? Were they, were they both correct? In your yeah, view? I thought they were. I thought they were both, both, both fouls, both penalties. Um, really disappointed they didn't have their fella sent off. Bearing in mind that Ryan got sent off for exactly the same thing at Didcot. Um, I've, I haven't been in to see him yet, I haven't asked him, but you know, the lad pulls him back and it says in the rules, if you make a challenge, a tackle, a, you know, you're genuinely trying to tackle the ball and you give away a penalty, it's not, you know, a penalty is enough. But if you pull or push or anything in the box for, um, for a penalty, it's a sending off. Ryan got done for the same thing. And, and they've got away with it not even a yellow card so you know and if they'd have gone to 10 that might have helped us a little bit with, with the way we were playing so but we got ourselves in front and I thought both the goals again from us were poor defensively poor awful, awful goals defensively you know Ryan and Mark switch off from the free kick still had steps inside and scores and then the second one Jamie Molyneux switches off when the first clearance comes out doesn't react quick enough goes against the box again they get a corner and again you know, it's a it's a weak challenge early from us. It drops in the box, and I can't see it properly, but it looks like a foul. It's a long, long way away from here, but there's a lot of bodies in that in the way. But if it's a foul, it's a foul, and we've got to defend it better than that. What did you, what did you think the players weren't didn't react quickly? You know, they weren't focused on the free kick, especially. Huh, like I said, uh, ask them. You know, we we talk about. You know, I just said to the players in there. After 15 minutes, you can see the type of team they are. We know what they're like. They want to play. They're quick. They're sharp. They're bright. They're young. You know, and they're very enthusiastic. So why are we not ready for when they want to take a quick free kick? Because we try to do the same thing. We want to play quickly. So do they. So why are we not switched on and not ready for it? You ask them, and they can't give you an answer. Which is, like I said, it happens. You know, we, it does happen a lot for us. We've given away some awful goals this year defensively. Some really poor goals, and today was no different. Do you, you rested a couple of players today? Would that be right? Do no, Jimmy Oates, Clayton Fortune. No, they're injured. Uh, Thursday night, we all, all of the back four from Saturday pulled out of training. So Ryan dropped out, Mark dropped out, Clayton dropped out, and Jimmy dropped out. So they all dropped out with knocks of niggles of one sort or another. Um, so fortunately for us, Ryan and, and Mark were okay to play today. Um, but obviously the other two were not fit. That's why they weren't on the bench. Um, and Tristan the same. Tristan didn't train Thursday either, so he's got a, a slight problem. So he, although he was on the bench today, he, we would have got something out of him, but it wouldn't have been anywhere near what he what he could have what he should be producing. So, so as a precaution, he was put on the bench. So, like I said, so we were a little bit thingy today with numbers, but hopefully with Maka coming back now, and hopefully the other two will be will be available again for next week. I presume some of them will be involved at Pegasus this week. Yeah, I think like I said, obviously Jamie Edge needs a game, Sinclair needs a game, Mullen you needs another game. Um, you know, so Ollie Barnes needs another game. So you know, like I said, be two or three there, that or four or five there that will, that will play, and then we'll just put in numbers around them. Thanks for your time. No problem.